today I always write them out like this on my little piece of paper so that I can reach it while I'm standing so this is what I do I just write the time and the student's name and then I'm gonna come back in here and write down any information that I need to know for when I'm teaching okay so I'm done with this I have all of my Google slides ready I just write down like if there's anything I need to know, like if it's a new student, when the goodbye slide is, if I have to talk about a project, anything like that. Because I've taught all these lessons before, I kind of just know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go do my hair now. So this is how I refresh my hair. I just first spray it with water. Because if I wet my hair every day completely, it would take forever to dry. I would just have wet hair always. daylight savings so my time's changed a little bit so now the last class that I can teach is from 10 30 to 11 and I just got a notification that my 8 o'clock has been canceled so I don't have to teach that class that means I have my 7 30 class and then I have an hour break and I get paid for that 8 o'clock that got canceled and I don't have to teach it so anyway it's coffee time let's go make some coffee from the mom of the class that got canceled at 8. She said, I'm so sorry, Melody got a fever and she cannot have your class. She took the time to message me to let me know. I'm gonna have to reply. I start in about 15 minutes, so 7.30. And like I said, I usually start at 7. I just wanted to um, leave my 7 open because I wasn't used to the new like daylight savings time yet because yesterday was Sunday, so. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel today. That is the beauty about this job. You have the freedom to work when you choose to work. So I did open some short notice slots for today. So short notice means that it's a time slot that can be booked within the next 24 hours and you get an extra $2 American for those. So that adds up. Okay, I am going to play on my computer for the next 15 minutes and then I'll show you what teaching class is like. Five minutes until show time, people. Time to apply the red lips. So when I'm teaching, my kids basically just see like, I can't give it all in my camera, but 
They see this nice background. They don't see like my door over here. They don't see this. They don't see any of this stuff, but it's super convenient for me as a teacher because if I need like a prop, my student just really isn't grasping something, everything is just within arm's reach. So I have like my flashcards here and I have them all organized by category. So I kind of know where they are just from memory now. And I have like some magnets that I use all the time because this board is magnetic. And then of course I have my little whiteboard next to it. So if I need to like write out a math question or anything like that, I can give like a visual for my student to really understand. I'm just opening the app. I'm getting ready to go. And here's my first class. Let's open it up. And I'm going to turn my microphone off. And I have two minutes, 53 seconds. First class today is a unit assessment, and it's a level or less than 12 unit assessment, so it has six levels. So I like to put up these little numbers to make like a little game board for the student as we go through. start teaching at 9 and I'm going to finish at 11. It's 8.51 which means I have about 9 minutes to go until I start. Um, normally I don't have this long of a break it's just because that student um, for my 8 o'clock class cancelled because she had a fever. And I only know that because I have a close connection with some of these regulars and I um, talk to their parents on WeChat, which is like the Chinese equivalent of Facebook, I guess. So yeah, I'm just kind of chilling. I guess I'll venture back into the classroom. Oh, it's so gross and rainy today. You can't tell. It's like these gross, rainy, snowy days where I'm just so grateful that I don't have to leave the house or drive anywhere, especially days where like there's a bunch of snow. I'm so pumped I don't have to worry about like cleaning my car off and uh, driving in gross weather. I definitely like working from home, but I do find that sometimes, <gasps> excuse me, sometimes I don't leave the house as much as I should because when I finish, I feel like, oh, I'm done work for the day, and then I kind of just want to chill at home because I really enjoy being in my own space. 
So I do need to kind of um, push myself to get out of the house a little bit more. All right, it's almost go time. I'm gonna set my camera up on the tripod. It's 8.53, so about seven minutes to go. You can watch me teach some classes and then we'll see what happens from there. Hello! Hi, Joey! Hi, Dino! How are you? Did you go to school today? Very good! Yes, I went to school. Dino is in. And out. Are these the same? No, they are different. Joey, that was amazing. You have earned the first star. Yes. Three fish, three reptiles. They are equal. This verb is swim. You did a great job today. It was so nice to meet you. Goodbye. I'll see you next time. It's 11 o'clock. I am done teaching. So now I have to do my class feedback. So the class feedback just kind of outlines to the parents what their students learned today and what they did good at and what they still need to kind of work on for next time. So I'm going to do that now and I'll let you know when I'm finished. Oh, funny story. Someone just knocked on our door with a package that's for me that was accidentally dropped in their driveway. So this is really lucky that I even got this. And of course it's a, another thing from AliExpress. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I've been ordering stuff for the wedding, not really knowing if it's gonna be good or not, but I know I have lots of time right now, so that's why I'm kind of playing with this. Anyway, I got these, oh, they look great. These like copper rose gold paper straws. Oh my God, I got a whole bunch. So I have four packs of these straws. I'll definitely use these, these are great. And I also just got some rose gold kind of copper colored ribbon. Not really sure what I'll use this for yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy for something. So yeah, that's what I got in the mail today. I'm heading out with Devin. We're gonna do some running around and we have to pick up a couple things at the grocery store. We're out of like our staples, like onions and mushrooms and things like that. So a little bit of run around and a trip to the grocery store. Stay tuned. I'm here with Devin, Maddie. We literally bring her everywhere with us because she's so good. She just like goes with the flow anyway. It is so rainy and gross today. All right, we're at Sobeys. I'm not bringing the camera in because people are probably gonna look at me funny if I'm filming in the grocery store. So I'll just show you what I got when I get home. Yo, it is 1.30. We're back from the grocery store. <laughs> what did you spit that out? Oh, no. It wasn't good. <laughs> there just be whipped cream on the floor. You were freaking savage, dude. Oh, yeah. boy. Did you shake it? You gotta shake it. <laughs> Everyone knows you shake whipped cream first. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what we got at Sobeys. So we're making like a vegetable soup for lunch in the Instant Pot. So I got some celery, some yellow onions. Usually I get a bigger bag than this, but this is like all that was good at Sobeys today. Good job. Turn up. Oh, awesome. <laughs> good job cleaning up, I'm saying. Oh, sure. garlic. You are hilarious. Oh shit, yeah, we need a bag in there. I'm not doing it over. Oh. I got some pasta noodles, some pesto, can of diced tomatoes, pasta sauce. I've been actually craving a caramel milk egg since they've been out, so caramel milk egg, Devin got a reese hashtag living. Light life meatballs, these are the best, so we're gonna have like a pasta, a club soda, lemon lime, 
lettuce shreds. This is so great for just like throwing on wraps and stuff. Uh, cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. Shrooms. We go through like one of these every like two days, so we eat a lot of shrooms in this house. These souvlaki veggie chicken skewers were on sale for three dollars, so I got some of these. Avocados. Can't go wrong with avocados. And normally I bring all my own bags, but I forgot today. And we also got some potatoes. So Jeff and I have a really good dynamic where if I prep all the vegetables for him, he will cut them all up for me. We're just making like a vegetable soup. I'm not gonna bother filming the recipe because that would probably just be like a video on its own. But if you guys want to see more videos about how I just like throw shit together, you just let me know and we can make a cooking with the Latimers or dinner with the Latimers a thing. Oh God. That'd be gross. This onion's dropping right to the floor. What is? This onion. I paid $7 for those onions. Quite some time. What? I can see. You crying? I told you not to get emotionally attached to those onions. I hate them. Welcome to dinner with the Latimers. We're always cooking something up and like we're always winging it, to be honest. I know I post recipes, but like very much a winging it type of recipe gal. Okay, so this is what this mixture is looking like. Oh, we're steaming up the lens. Can you put some wine in here? I'm just taking a look. Mine nice. What? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> what a dad joke. It's easy. It should be called the easy pot. That's, easy pot. That's what everybody easy says. Easy pot. I like that better. Easy because pot. It's like a slow cooker, but really, but faster. Yeah, exactly. Like, whenever I have a soup, and then I go into a big thing and turn it up. I just wish it was potato. <laughs> really? I was like, shit, I thought that was potato. I do like turnip though. Oh my god. It's so nice and salty and oh. I'm gonna just put some more soy sauce in there. Okay. We're about to turn the instant pot on to cook. This is what it looks like, our little concoction with um, veggie souvlaki chicken. Probably gonna be delicious. Mm. This thing scares me a bit. Okay, so it's on seal. Go! Use a cloth when you do that. Are you making an instant pot song? Oh, looks good. Look at all that flavor. This is like a thickener that we made with like butter and flour and milk. Cashew. Yeah. Yeah. Veggie milk. Veggie milk. Veggie veggies. Smells good. Smells really good. I'm gonna puree some of that too. Very thick. Nice. What a great little veggie stew. Mmm. Smells so good. Five o'clock now. I was just on my computer for the last little bit editing some of my footage from today. Now I'm gonna hang out with Devin for a little bit, lay on the couch, watch some Netflix. Does your stomach hurt? Not really. My stomach hurts. I had a lot of soup too. I had a lot of soup too, but I think what happened is I only ate bread for breakfast, toast, and then I waited a really long time. So, yeah. ugh, I feel kind of yucky now. I'm going to end this video right here because it's 7.20 and we ended up having the soup we made earlier for supper because it was so freaking good. Like it was really delicious. Anyways, we ate that again and now we're just hanging out together on the couch, watching some Netflix and probably gonna go to bed pretty soon. Bed soon? Bed soon. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, give me a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm making new videos every week, sometimes two a week. And I think you should watch them. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.